Good afternoon. How is everybody doing? So I just pulled up on the side of Mount Bryan for the night. Got the big gypsum mine over there and a big sinkhole over there, which I don't think too many people know about, but it's uh, kind of impressive in its own right. But the, the van has been running great since that last episode, the breakdown episode. Hopefully that's the end of all that and I got a good, reliable vehicle uh, for the summer. But thanks everyone uh, for your uh, overwhelming support and patience as uh, we try to get through these frustrating times. But I'm so happy to be back in BC and uh, the alpine season is rapidly approaching. Uh, there's been a few warm days. Uh, I'm hoping enough to flush out the big avalanches, uh, but it's still dangerous. But I'm willing to uh, hike out there tomorrow and take a look and see if I can get myself a summit. Foresty, why did you park the van in such a strange way? It looks like it's on a big slant. Or is it? Sometimes the cheapest upgrades are the best. Uh, I'm so glad I added this thing in. It just uh, makes getting the van level on uh, roads like this so much easier and faster. There's nothing worse than sleeping on a slant for the night. And the bed is on slats, so I can pull this out. It comes like almost all the way to uh, the cabinets. Then I can just fit in this second mattress in the gap. Rocco, she likes to lay on her side and stretch out her legs and push me around. So now there's room for the two of us. <coughs> Nothing too exciting happening tonight. Just got to go to bed early. We'll be on Alpine time tomorrow. I'll probably get up around uh, about 4 a.m. There'll be a bit of a freeze tonight, so I should try to take advantage of that before it gets uh, warm in the afternoon and there could be uh, wet slides but yeah i'll see you guys uh, tomorrow morning So I wound up sleeping in a bit this morning doing a 6 a.m. start on this, but it's only around uh, six kilometer one way with about a thousand meter gain and mostly on packed down snowmobile trails. So I think I should be able to do this uh, efficiently. The only thing working against me is that I didn't do too many summits through the winter. So my VO2 max has become a VO2 min and it's something that I need to work on uh, getting back. I have a feeling this is going to be beauty day, 10 out of 10. So I'm headed for Mount Aeneas in uh, the Canadian Rockies outside of Invermere, BC. So I had to choose between a, a big summer purchase, either touring skis or something else. And obviously it wasn't the skis and uh, really excited to share what I did get. I think it's really going to change the landscape of what I can do in the mountains this summer. A very steep climb up here. I'm gaining elevation very fast. I don't think this is a slide path. It looks more like a, a fire break to me. There's uh, Mount Bryan over there, it looks like an easy one. Maybe a little too easy to catch my interest to actually climb up it. I don't have a good feeling about this today. It doesn't look like a good, ideal, safe uh, winter route. There's 
avalanche crowns on all these slopes except for this one, the one I'm thinking about going up. <laughs> I was thinking if I got up close to that wall it might be safe, but nah, I don't think I should chance it. I'm gonna go back down. This is one that's gonna have to wait for summer conditions. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes you go back to the van and have a nice meal. But there's, uh, there's a sub peak over here. I think it should be safe. Maybe I can bag that one instead. I managed to salvage the day. I got two small summits. I have to come back for the big one later. It was uh, so windy up there. I couldn't talk on camera, and the wind chill was too much for Rocco. She had to ride out that ridge line inside my jacket. But I should be back to the van uh, just afternoon. Make myself a nice meal. So I'm gonna air crisp these at 390 for 20 minutes. Everything goes into the bowl except for the cilantro and uh, bacon. Chili powder, sriracha, salt, garlic, pepper, sour cream. And some shredded cheese. This is uh, what we have to deal with in Canada. This stuff is awful. It tastes like sawdust. We need to start a petition to bring Tillamook to Canada. So, I'm going to air crisp this uh, for another five minutes. About. This feels like an unusual video. Normally it's nighttime when I get to uh, the eating part of it. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Rico. Rico, up here. Absolutely delicious, eh, Rico? Mmm. 
So I shut down my Patreon about two weeks ago. I think it was up and running since uh, 2019. It was a good experience overall, and uh, I really appreciate all the support that I received over there. Uh, the main reason that I shut it down is about a year and a half ago, suddenly one day I developed uh, a serious photosensitivity issue with screen time. Like 10, 20 minutes is enough to make me feel really sick and uh, messed up, and I just don't have it in me to properly manage a Patreon page and provide content and uh, make it worth people's money and respond to messages and all that so it just made more sense to shut it down uh, nobody over there was hitting me with a whip or anything like that telling me to speed it up but it was still a monthly paycheck and it was weight on my shoulders that uh, I just don't want to carry around right now I just uh, need to uh, prioritize getting videos out and uh, that's all the screen time that I can handle for now but I guess it's not such a, a bad issue to have. It just means that I look at a screen a whole lot less and I spend uh, more time outside. And uh, Rocco and me, we go hiking every single day. And every time I find a trail that needs maintenance, uh, I fix it up because I got the chainsaws and a rake. And uh, it's just like one way that I can directly give back to the community. So what did I spend uh, all my money on? The Grand Reveal. I got an e-bike. I was thinking for the longest time I was going to add one of those uh, electric motor kits onto my old fat bike, but that bike was getting in uh, really rough shape and I didn't like the fact that I always had to uh, take it apart to fit in here. It was always bouncing around and getting damaged, so I decided to uh, donate that one to a bicycle collective in the city where they refurbish it and resell it, so hopefully uh, it finds a new home and has a good second life. But I chose this one because uh, I still wanted to have the fat tires. Uh, I like the fact that it just like rolls over anything. You don't have to worry so much about picking a line. I've even had it on a snowmobile trail once, but it was kind of warm out and I was sinking in and uh, the battery only lasted like 18 kilometers before it died. And uh, it's really hard to pedal <laughs> when that dies. I think it weighs about 65 pounds. Uh, this is the bigger 14 amp hour battery on there. I think the, the farthest that I've ridden it so far is about uh, 30 kilometers. And I think the battery was still at like 65%. So maybe I'd trust it to do uh, 70 kilometers on a gravel road. But maybe on like a flat paved rail trail it would do 100. We'll just have to wait and see. But I also uh, chose this one because uh, it's smaller. It fits right in there. I don't have to take it apart. So when I want to ride it, I just uh, lift it out and ride it. It's, it's pretty simple, straightforward. That's what I like. Um, the rack that I had for my fat bike fit right on there and I can still use my panniers. Uh, these brakes I found, uh, they just don't have enough stopping power going down uh, like a steep mountain road. So I've already ordered uh, a bigger 180 rotor for that that I'm going to add on uh, next week but yeah I'm excited to uh, use this this summer I think it's uh, going to open up a lot of new possibilities for what I can do in a day another nice thing is that the e-bike brand has storefronts uh, across North America so if it ever breaks down I can just take it in to be fixed and it's got a five-year warranty on it as well uh, the only downside that I've found so far is that it takes a hefty ding off my house battery to recharge it. So I kind of have to like plan my rides around when I'm going to recharge my system. But it is what it is. Uh, there's also a lot of like 4x4 trails around that I've considered driving this van up. But if I can do it with that instead, all the better because it saves me doing yet even more damage to this van. But I think uh, I've talked myself out of everything I have to say. So thanks for watching. I hope everyone is uh, enjoying their spring and uh, getting out for some good adventures. And I will see you in the next episode.